Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supplies. I'm here today. We're going to be changing a Pentair three horsepower variable speed pump. I'm at a customer's house and in this situation the pump has died and the customer doesn't want to rebuild or repair the pump. We're just going to cut it out and we're going to replace the whole entire pump. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the electric. And by doing so, we're going to remove this cover plate, giving us access to where the power is wired in so that we'll be able to disconnect it. If you have a voltmeter, it would be safe to use so that you can make sure that when you do turn the power off, you have no power. You definitely do not want to be playing with this when the electric is live. Uh, in this situation, I've already uh, killed the power at the breaker box, so I already know there's no, there's no power, so I'm going to be safe to go ahead and uh, take this apart. And what we want to do is we're going to remove from the terminal, we're going to remove the neutral wire, and we're gonna remove the black wire, which is your hot wire. This way it gives me opportunity to remove these wires and I'm going to remove the ground wire. So now that the wires are removed, we're going to be able to unscrew and disconnect the electric. So now we've got that loose, we can pull our wires out. And as you can see, I've got my hot, which is black, my neutral, which is white, and my ground, which is bare. So we're gonna set this to the side. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the plumbing because they're gonna go with a complete install on the whole pump. It's just gonna be best to cut the plumbing. So I'm gonna be cutting the plumbing here and I'm gonna be cutting the plumbing here. And then that way we'll be able to just hook everything back up and slide it back on nice and easily. So I do not have to replace all this plumbing as you can see here. And that'll just make for a quick uh, replacement. Now with that cut, we're going to be able to remove the old pump and set it over here to the side and we'll get the new pump. And I'm just going to remove the tag here, get that out of our way. I'm going to grab a male because we're not going to use the old male that was in here. We're going to put a new male in here and we're going to tape it. It's very important when we tape, hold the fitting in one hand and you want to go clockwise around the fitting. You know, you got a good amount of Teflon on the fitting so when we screw it in, we won't have any leaks. Because if you just screw this in and not use Teflon tape, you will have a leak. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in. And I'll put it in as far as I can by hand and then we'll get a pair of pliers and we're gonna tighten it. That way we know we've got it good and tight. It's very important to have this tight so we don't have any air leaks, or suction leaks as they call them. And we can also feel inside and know that we're up against the stop. We don't wanna to go too tight or go any further than that because then you could crack the housing. So now that that part is done, we come over here to the old pump and since it's a fairly simple install, instead of having to replumb everything because this is perfectly good, we're going to disconnect this because we'll be reusing it. So I can unscrew this. You can see the old tape where it was on there before. And we're gonna get our Teflon tape. And once again, we're gonna hold it and in a clockwise motion, we're gonna go around the fitting. That way you know you got enough Teflon on it so that when we put it in, she's gonna be nice and tight and she's not gonna leak. And so that takes care of that. We'll now be able to come over here to the new pump, set this in place. Be careful not to cross thread it because you're working with a longer piece of pipe here. We just want to get it started. Then we're going to be able to screw that in. Once it gets really hard to turn, just take your pliers. Okay, now that we've got that cut for demonstration purposes, and it's always good to dry fit before you glue to make sure everything does fit the way you want it. We're going to put this on. And we're gonna dry fit, just make sure everything lines up good. Make sure we're good on the pump. Make sure we're good here. Make sure this is tight and it looks like everything's gonna work out great. So at this point, I'll be able to take it apart and we're gonna go ahead and glue it up. So we're gonna cover this because I don't wanna get glue on the new pump because it will have a tendency to drip. And I'm using an all-purpose glue. All-purpose glue is something I've always used because it glues everything from PVC to flex. So we don't have to worry about if we're using the right glue. All purpose, we'll glue all of it. And we're gonna take the coupling now and we're gonna glue inside the coupling really good. And then we're gonna come outside the pipe here. We're also gonna glue 
really well. You want to make sure you get enough glue on the pipe and on the fitting so that you got a good bond. I'm going to go stick this on. We're going to take the excess glue, wipe that off. And now that part is glued. We didn't get any glue on our pump. Everything looks good. And now we're going to be able to glue the pipe and the fitting here, the pipe and the fitting here, and we'll be sliding it together all at one time so that we get a good fit because everything is tight and we've only got so much room to work with. Push this back, give me a little room here. You go around it one more time, won't hurt. Making sure we got enough. Move everything in, get a good fit. At this point, we can go ahead and wipe off the excess glue. Now with the plumbing part done, we've got to hook up the electrical. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bracket off the top so we can hook our electric up. And this particular pump, which is the three horsepower Pentair variable speed pump, is only wired for 230 volts. In this particular situation, they already had the pump. We already know it's 230. And so we're going to hook it right back up. It'll hook up just like the other one. Be able to remove this bracket, put our fitting in and bring our wires in. On the last pump, it came in from the back. This one's gonna come in from the side. So we're just gonna move this around a little bit. We're gonna be able to feed our wires in, get that in first. Then we've got to hook up our fitting here. I'm gonna get my pliers and we're gonna start screwing this on so we can tighten it. We're gonna be able to go in here and hook up our wires. It's gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna basically have your hot line, which is line one. We'll do that one first. That's gonna go on to the black. Gonna make sure we get it open enough to get our wire in and clamp down on it. And we can kind of push this to the side so it's out of the way. Now we're gonna do our neutral and you'll notice that on L uh, two here, it says N, that stands for neutral, which is your white wire, the black wire being hot. And we're gonna fish this wire in and get it locked in place and get it screwed down. Now that one's hooked up and we'll get that one down out of place. And then now we're gonna do the ground. And I've already got my loop, so I'm just gonna remove the screw and just make it easier so I don't have to wrap around it. And I put my screw through my loop. And we'll be able to screw our ground down. Make sure it's good and tight. Make sure there's no nicks in the wires, no, nothing's touching. Everything here looks good. So at this point in time, I'm gonna be able to put our bracket back, cover plate back on. Okay, now that we've got everything done, got the electric hooked up, it's all set in place, we're gonna remove the lid. <clears throat> By removing this lid, we now want to wipe everything down. And we wanna fill the pump with water because we gotta get it primed. I'm gonna let that get full of water so it'll be easier to prime. And if you note, know, over here we've got a series of bowl valves. This particular pool has two skimmers and one drain. And what we're going to do, I had them turned off when I was changing the pump just so we wouldn't get wet. I also closed the filter. We are now going to be ready to put this back in filter. What we're going to do is when we get ready to prime the pump and get it started, we're going to open one valve. That way the pump will, will prime much faster once we get it primed then we can open all the other lines. A pump will always pull water faster from one line than multiple lines at the same time. So now that we've got that opened up, making sure we've got enough water in the pump, valves closed, we're able to put the lid back on and lock it and secure it in place. Then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the pump on so we can get it primed and then I'll be opening one of the valves slowly until the pump gets started. We're gonna hit the switch. We're gonna make sure that we do turn the power back on in the power box. Pump on, switch is on. We're gonna set this, there's different speeds. It starts off at 750, 1500 RPMs, 2350, all the way to 3110 RPMs. That's basically revolutions per minute. We're gonna just start the pump on about 1500 RPMs, that's plenty. And all I have to do is hit this start button and she's gonna start up. Now we'll come over here and I will start to open one of our lines. 
to get the pump started. And as that pump starts running, it's going to start priming. And as we can see, it's all started up. So now the pump is priming. It'll automatically go to 3,450 RPMs. That's the highest setting. That's three horsepower. Once the pump gets primed, it's automatically going to go back to the position where we had it by default. As you can see, it drops back down to 1500. Pump is primed, but if we'd like, we can increase the speed. I can go higher, I can go lower. This pump has eight different speeds. We can also set timers for it to cut on and cut off. There's a lot of programmability in this control for this pump because it is a variable speed pump. Every pump comes with a manual. And in this manual, it's going to basically tell you how to set that and how to get the best efficiency when you're running it. Lower speeds will, will run much slower. Obviously, if we go higher, it will run much faster, but will draw more electricity. Having said that, we've got the pump running now at 2350. We've increased it. You can see that the pump is primed. We're running really good, no air, and we're done. If you guys found this video to be helpful, hit the like and subscribe button. That way you'll be notified as we post new videos. If you guys have any questions you'd like to see us make a video on, comment down below. And as always, for all your pool needs, visit us at hallmarkpoolsupplies.com. My name is Mark. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.